Good morning. Tornadoes in the heartland. As many as 23 tornadoes wreak havoc in Oklahoma, Missouri, and Illinois on Friday, with the threat of severe weather lingering today. Smith Island buyout. Residents of a small Delmarva community are being offered money for their property by the Maryland government. We'll tell you why. And in this morning's Delmarva Talk, we're talking Ocean City Senior Week, death of a television icon, Monster Mile Weekend, and more. It's Sunday, June 2nd, 2013. From Delmarva Connection, this is Delmarva This Morning. Good morning and welcome to Delmarva This Morning. I'm Hunter Littlepage. Long time no see, but it is glad to be back on DTM with your top stories. Let's start on this Sunday morning with the latest on those so tornadoes and the severe weather in Oklahoma, Missouri, and Illinois. At least 23 tornadoes touched down in those three states on Friday, and Saturday brought flooding. Let's get the latest from Delmarva Connection National Correspondent Mark Heideman. People in the suburbs around Oklahoma City are salvaging what they can from tornado-damaged homes and businesses. Friday's outburst of deadly tornadoes and violent thunderstorms brought damaging winds and heavy rain. Saturday, floodwaters surrounded homes and trapped cars and animals. Washed out roads are causing problems for crews trying to assess the storm damage. The National Weather Service is now working to figure out just how many tornadoes touched down in Oklahoma. Estimates now stand at 23. They hit during rush hour, flipping cars on major roadways. Officials say most of the deaths were from people stuck in their cars when the storms plowed through. Debris flew across roadways, even catching experienced storm chasers off guard. The violent weather stretched from Oklahoma into Missouri and even Illinois. Multiple tornadoes hit communities around St. Louis. Homes in St. Charles County were flattened, others lost their roofs. Forecasters say over the next few days, these hard-hit areas should get a break from the intense storms. For Delmarva this morning, Mark Heideman, Delmarva Connection. You want to avoid this area at all costs. Here's a look at some of the other top stories of the morning. State officials in Maryland are planning to go ahead with a controversial decision to buy out around 10 homes on Smith Island. It's part of a plan to help Somerset County recover from Hurricane Sandy. The Department of Housing and Community Development earmarked $1 million for buyouts on the island. Out of $8.6 million in federal aid, the county received to help businesses and residents recover from the storm. Smith Island residents are reacting with members of all three communities on the island, Tylerton, Yule, and Road Point. Speaking out, an overwhelming majority want to keep their homes and don't plan on participating in a buyout. Well, the Maryland State Police and Worcester County Sheriff's Office were involved in a high-speed chase that extended from Worcester County into southern Delaware. The incident reportedly happened after a suspected burglary at around 9.30 a.m. Saturday. This incident remains under investigation in Worcester County. Delaware lawmakers are considering a bill that would affect charter schools in the first state. The bill would tighten oversight and create a fund for the Department of Education. The Associated Press says the fund would give money to charter schools with a proven track record. Delaware Governor Jack Markell has backed the bill. Opposition say that it would take away from public schools. The bill will be debated in committee on Wednesday. Yesterday was the unofficial start of the Atlantic hurricane season. The National Weather Service and NOAA predict a busy season with up to three to six major named storms. Many were called Hurricane Sandy last year, devastated much of the East Coast. Sandy was the deadliest storm of the 2012 hurricane season. In this morning's Delmarva Talk, the unofficial start of the summer season was last weekend, and this weekend is the start of Senior Week in Ocean City. Expect the June bugs, as they're called, to be out in full force. After graduating over the past two weeks, seniors are heading to the beach for hopefully some clean, safe, and legal fun. June bugs, as they're called, as I said, could be coming from as far away as Pennsylvania and, of course, from all around Delmarva. Some sad news to pass from New York as actress Jean Stapleton passes away on Friday. 
The news came on Saturday from her son, who announced the news. Stapleton was best known for her role as Edith Bunker on All in the Family. Stapleton reportedly died of natural causes on Friday. She passed away surrounded by her family and friends, including her children. Jean Stapleton, dead at 90. Well, it's Monster Mile Weekend at Dover International Speedway in Dover, and while the crowd, while the fans, that is, will still be out in full force, they're not going to be as plentiful. Not too many people will be showing up, or at least not as many as it used to be there at Dover International Speedway. If you're heading, uh, if you're planning on heading out, the big race is today, one o'clock, with the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. You can watch it on the Fox. Here's a look at what's trending on Twitter. Jean Stapleton is trending just hours after reports came out about her death. Edith Bunker is also trending. Edith Bunker was, of course, the role that Stapleton played on All in the Family. And hashtag 10 things I love is trending as well. I think all of our viewers should tweet hashtag 10 things I love is Delmarva this morning. And that will do it for us on Delmarva This Morning. I'm Hunter Littlepage. Don't forget you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and very soon you'll be able to find us on Vine. Next week on Delmarva This Morning, we'll take a look at the new Delmarva Connection Vine account. Have a great Sunday.